Hello world! In this video, I'm going to show you how you could generate a heat map of warehouse usage patterns so that you could identify peak hours that can help you with cost optimization. And we're going to do that in Snowflake Notebooks with the help of Streamlit to build out the front end UI. And so without further ado, let's dive in. So you're going to see here that we have this notebook that you could retrieve from the Snowflake Demo Notebooks repo on GitHub. So go to this repo, scroll down, find warehouse utilization with Streamlit, click on it, and then you have the files for you to follow along with. So for this tutorial, we're gonna use this notebook, and then you can load it into your account, and let's follow along. So as mentioned here, we're gonna generate a heat map so that you could visualize the warehouse usage patterns. And then that will help you to identify peak hours because we're going to make a heat map across 24 hours. So we're going to see that in just a moment. And so how are we going to go about doing that? Well, we could break it down into four essential steps. So the first step here is we're going to write a SQL query in order to retrieve the warehouse utilization data. We're going to convert it into a data frame. And then we're going to create an interactive slider widget using Streamlit so that you could select the number of days for you to go back um, in your data analysis. Like, are you going to analyze 30 days, 90 days, for example? And then finally, we're going to create a heat map using Altair in order to allow you to visualize the warehouse usage patterns. And so let's have a look at step number one. So here we're going to retrieve the warehouse utilization data. And this SQL query will allow you to do that. So from the Snowflake account usage warehouse load history table, we're going to load the following columns. Start time. And then we're going to get the date and the hour. We're going to have the warehouse name, the average running, average queued load, and also the start time again, and the end time uh, without the processing here. And then we're going to select like going back one month, for example. So for this, actually, let's make it two. Okay, so we're starting up the warehouse here. Then we're running it. Give it a few more seconds here. All right, and so here we have 36,000 uh, rows in our data here. So yeah, this is the hour of the day, the usage date, and so based on this data, we're going to do our analysis. All right, so let's proceed further. We're now going to convert the SQL query that you have above here, this table, into a Python data frame. So you might be wondering, we have a SQL query and we have the table, which is the results from that. And how are we going to create a Pandas data frame? Well, in Snowflake Notebooks, you could easily go from a SQL query here into a Pandas data frame by calling out the SQL query here, uh, the SQL cell. Let's have a look here. The SQL cell here is called SQL Warehouse Data. And we're going to use that cell name here in our command here, and then followed by appending two pandas command here, and that will allow you to retrieve the data as a pandas data frame. So let's run it. And once we have it as a pandas data frame, it will then be assigned to the variable pi data frame. So you could think of this as also a Python variable. So you're going to see that it's the exact same data here, but then now it's a Python data frame. All right, so now that we got the first two steps out of the way, we're going to proceed to the third one. We're now going to create an interactive slider widget using Streamlit. So here, 
we're going to calculate the total warehouse load and then we're going to call it total load. We're going to format the hour display uh, for each row or record. So in this six, uh, 26 lines of code here, we're going to import pandas and streamlet. We're going to get a copy of the data frame and then we're going to assign it to the DF variable. And then we're going to use st.slider, the streamlet widget, in order to create a slider widget. So let's run it so that you can see it. All right, so here we've already run the code here and now you're gonna see the widget. If you move the widget, the resulting data here will also change. The data table here will also change. So lines 14 to 17, we're going to filter our data based on the slider widget here. And then we're going to format and add additional columns, which include total load and the hour display. And then finally, we're using um, st.warning in order to display the selected number of days that we're gonna use for our analysis. So here we selected, let's go with 30 days, right? And then we're gonna proceed further to the fourth step. Now we're gonna create a heat map, okay? This is the interesting part. So we're gonna visualize the warehouse usage pattern and we're gonna do that using Altair for the data visualization. The heat map will show the warehouse usage pattern across different hours of the day, and the color intensity will represent the total load and the interactive tooltips, which is when you hover your mouse over, it will show you the detailed metrics for each cell in the heat map. Let's run the code. So the code is about 39 lines of code. And this is a heat map that will allow you to look at the time of the day and then look at the usage patterns here. So for those that have dark blue, it means the total load is low. And if it has a lighter color, like a light blue, it means that the total load is higher. And if it is blank, like with the dark gray color here, it means that there is no usage. Okay, so you're gonna see that some warehouse, so the Y axis here are the warehouse name and the X axis are the hours of the day. So you're gonna see that some of the warehouses are not being used. This, for example, has been used only at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. This one is only used at 10 o'clock. However, you're gonna see that some of the warehouses are being used all of the time. And there is a peak at approximately almost noon, 11 o'clock, right? And this one is peaking at about 6 p.m. and about five in the morning, okay? So it really depends on the usage of the warehouses. And then you can spot this by using our interactive Streamlit app. Let's say that you wanna go back and let's say, change the number of days. Let's have it um, two months here. So if you select 60 days, and then here it will display 60 days for analysis. The data here will be for two months. Now we're gonna go back and run this cell again and that will allow you to generate a heat map again. And then this updated heat map is verified by the title displaying the number 60 in here. So I intentionally included this here as part of the title name right here, which is the days variable. The days variable is coming from the slider widget, which is right here, the days. So when we select a different day, you're going to get a updated heat map. So this is by design and that's about it, right? So it's essentially minimal coding that will allow you to get up and running and visualize your warehouse uh, usage pattern. So let me know if this is helpful to you and feel free to drop a comment down below how you are using this for your own projects. And so I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. And let me know if there's any other types of video or topics that you like me to create. And so until next time, happy coding.